Earlier this evening, the community came together holding a prayer service for that off-duty officer. Fox 5's Stephanie Bertini joins us live right now outside the hospital where he is being treated. Stephanie, what can you tell us as uh, by way of an update on his condition tonight? Arthur, good evening. We've learned that officer was with the NYPD for five years. He's a father. He's a husband. He was off duty when he was shot. Right now, he's inside this hospital fighting for his life. A Muslim community, Pakistani community, and NYPD is here all together. Coming together on the main floor of Brookdale University Hospital and Medical Center. Our prayers, of course, is to the officer and his family. Heavy hearts united for an interfaith prayer service. This is a problem of crime. On a floor above them, the NYPD officer fighting for his life. Our land needs to be healed. Heal. Religious leaders, community leaders, and relatives of the officer standing in the same place, NYPD leadership and the mayor held a news conference less than 24 hours before, just hours after that cop was shot and sent here in critical condition. Detectives said at least one bullet in his head. Too many illegal guns are in the hands of bad people and doing bad things. This appears to be an attempted robbery during an attempt to purchase a vehicle. Investigators said the officer was meeting someone to purchase a vehicle in Brooklyn's East New York neighborhood on Saturday evening. The arrangement made on Facebook Marketplace. Soon, the meeting place turned into the center of a massive crime scene. 472 Ruby Street. This is the address police were called to last night. Investigators said that undercover officer was with a relative. Maybe they were parked somewhere along the sidewalk. We noticed this yellow tape left over from the crime scene. People in the mostly residential area talking about what happened at church said this woman that's where she was when she started to see cop cars and hear sirens you know the violence went up she said nowadays because you know with the gun violence you, you just you're just not safe period police say they're looking for a single suspect look at the devastation that those rounds cause to that young man's body the rage over what happened comes with a promise from police and the mayor. We will catch the person responsible for this act. Tonight, anyone with information asked to call the NYPD's tip line. Arthur, back to you. All right, thank you, Stephanie.